You know the story guys, it's the bull market. Every day you're looking at the charts and a coin you've never heard of is pumping 50, 100% while all your coins are just sat there doing three or 4% on that day. How on earth do people find these coins? Because every time you see them on those charts, you're too late. Well guys, right this second, literally in the month of September is the very best time, in my opinion, to be researching the next bull run gems. I'm not saying you've got to buy them, but I'm going to tell you exactly how to find them and what I have my eye on right now for the next bull market. Hit the like button. Let's get into the video. Now, if you are subscribed to my channel, you'll understand that I am a big fan of an ICO, an initial coin offering. This is when a coin is launched onto the open market. However, before the ICO happens, lots of money flows into a crypto project. And this comes from Coinbase, Binance, Animoca Brands, or in fact, even the inner circle link down below. And these guys basically get in at a way better price than the ICO. But what's important, if we look at through previous ICOs, you can see that Ethereum got funding secured 18.4 million, current market cap at 380 billion, Cardano 62 million, 43 billion. You get the picture. These coins were getting their funding in a bear market, and then they arrive in time for the bull market. They don't just arrive and just explode straight away, okay? They tend to kind of arrive before that happens. And all the people who were making loads of money on these weren't the ones who jumped in on them when they found them on CoinMarketCap, but they were jumping in on them before having researched, doing some deep research. Luckily, these days, it's very much easier. This is CryptoRank.io. Now, what's very important to know right now is that we are in September. Whether you agree with me or not that we are in a bull market, I personally think we are in a bull market, but it doesn't matter if you don't think we are right this second, because whether or not we are, whether or not we're not, then, you know, we could look at this in a few different ways. You will have to admit, though, even if you think that we're going to roll over and we're going to have a bit of a bloodbath still to come, which obviously can still happen, we are still here. This is like the halving uh, pattern for Bitcoin and all the other stuff, okay? So... In back in 2013 or whenever it was, uh, we had pretty much a rally from this point on. Uh, previously, like the last bull market after that, we had that big dip because of COVID. But apart from that, we'd have been pretty much running towards the upside. So you would have to imagine that whether we have a bit of kind of short term downside or whatever, the trajectory in the next like two, maybe three years is up. So how do we know what the next big crypto projects are going to be? Well, right now, I want to show you something. This is CryptoRank.io. It's a free site. Each month, you can see big venture capital funds are piling cash into different projects. Here are just a few of those names. Uh, and what we can see is uh, kind of not much activity. In the months where there's big kind of moves in the market, like here you can see April 2022, $7.1 billion. It's a lot of money, okay? Right now, you know, this month so far, we've done 54 million, 340 million last month. When the market's not moving very much, the amount of investment from big venture capital is smaller. And that's because basically when the market's up, what they're doing is they're taking their profits out of Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, and putting them into their new uh, kind of hopeful projects. This is interesting because they will try and invest every single month. And in a month like this, they're pretty much investing in everything because they've got so much cash flow. They're just investing in everything, hoping, you know, something sticks. But when we're in a market like this, they're investing in the very best cream of the crop projects. So it's actually, whilst everything else is boring, you know, as hell right now, what we really want to pay attention to is the fact that it's so boring that the venture capital is just only investing a little bit of money and they're very, very targeted in where they're investing it. And you're like, so what? These companies are worth billions of dollars. They have some of the very best crypto analysts and crypto researchers to go and investigate these projects to identify whether or not they want to invest. They then have, you know, a bunch of these projects that are all wanting to get invested in by Coinbase and whatever, and they're only going to select the very best ones. So our research and due diligence is done for us by people who know much more than us. Simple. So what can we do right now? Well, if we come across, in fact, let's go down below first. This is important. Look at what's going on in terms of categories, okay? You can go and see the different categories. Uh, you've got GameFi, CeFi, DeFi, and all that jazz, okay? You can go and see what's trending right now. 
It does appear that DeFi obviously is still the strongest, pretty much the original. Um, then you've got GameFi, also been quite a big narrative here. Big things, okay? Some people investing more than others into GameFi. Animoca Brands, very big on GameFi. Uh, and it's worth following a few of these if you want. Now, what I want to look at that's very key to look at right now is this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on fundraising and then I'm going to come down below and I'm going to click on a funding round. And what that's going to give me is a chronological ordered, chronologically ordered uh, selection of tokens that are getting invested in right now by big money. Now, look at this. These are the dates and this is the amount raised. Remember, in all of these, so far, in the first week of September, there's been $54 million raised. Most of that, you can see right there, has gone to which of those projects? Timer starts now. Story Protocol. What is Story Protocol? Well, I don't know, okay? I don't know. So, what am I going to do? Right, guys. I just want to point this out to you before anyone gets, like, heated and upset. There are a lot of things when it comes to buying an ICO that are a little bit risky. Often, people buy into ICOs not really understanding that the aim of the person who invests before the ICO is to sell that bag as quickly as possible. Because they'll buy before the ICO at a significantly lower rate, let's say two cents for every token, and then it launches at ICO and it launches for 20 cents. Well, obviously, everyone who bought before is just offloading their bags, causes a massive dump. If a project is good quality and has a good vesting schedule, go and learn about what vesting schedules and things are like that. It means that people can't just offload their tokens. Then it means that you can have a successful ICO. There are unsuccessful ICOs out there right now. But these projects that are raising now will be launching into the bull market. I'm pretty confident. Story protocol. What is it? So what we're going to do is we're going to go and look at some of the socials and find out some information on this one. And guys, time you spend doing this is not going to be something you regret. Because the more you dive in and understand some of these massive projects that are getting, or some of these new projects that are getting tons and tons of cash, then it's exciting. What we're looking for. Okay, first of all, we want to understand something about a project. We want to know whether or not that project is going to solve any particular issue or at least bring something new to the party. Like in USP. And yeah, I get it. There's tons of layer ones out there. There's tons of other things. But what is that particular layer one or what is that? particular protocol or whatever doing that's different from everyone else out there the next thing to think about is what are their socials and things like that looking like are they getting followed by tons of other venture capital firms who may not have even got lucky enough to be invested in a16z led the funding on this one the biggest uh, venture capital fund there is story protocol looks very interesting from here so we're going to copy the twitter profile and then we're going to go to this website and this if you're subscribed you would have seen before it's called twitterscore.io we paste this into here and then you can see a few different things now it's quite early on so this is not quite as high as maybe i would like it to be fair enough but we can come down below it's followed by a bunch of different influencers okay useful it's followed by venture capital the influencers are important because they're the ones who are going to talk about these projects. You can then see that they're being followed by various other venture capital projects. And as well, what is very important to look at is the blue statistics of the number of followers is in an upwards trajectory. Even when crypto is very quiet and not doing much, we're in an upwards trajectory right now. Okay, so the first tick for me is the socials. And you're like, why do you do the socials first? Well, for me, it's just a very easy thing to kind of look at first before I dive into the website. Now you can do it whatever way you want. I'm showing you how this all works, okay? It doesn't have to be in any particular order. First thing we're looking for, this might be very straightforward. Is this a cool website? Absolutely. Have you ever seen a website that looks like this? You know, it's all moving around. Very exciting, kind of unique. I like the look of it, okay? First big tick, it's got a website that clearly cost a lot of money and was well made in the first place. Crypto is a very shallow thing. Not quite as shallow as NFTs, but crypto is a very shallow thing. You don't necessarily have to overthink it and become an absolute expert in all these little different bits and pieces. Just understand simple things. Does it look good? You know, what are they doing? Story Protocol is building IP infrastructure to grow the creativity of the internet era. Interesting. Okay. So what's it going to do? Okay. So it's also do with intellectual property infrastructure for the internet era. Okay, cool. You can go and delve into some more information about this. So it's open protocol, which is obviously in line with lots of crypto purists out there, which people like dynamic IP repository. There's a lot of this might sound very technical. 
and that's fine okay if you don't understand it maybe it's a good opportunity to go and learn more read these different things go and find out what they mean you can go to chat gpt if you're not so sure we can then see down below lots of info from the investors uh, and then all the different bits and pieces they're doing now this is not a review guys of story protocol and obviously i'm skimming over it because i'm trying to talk to you and trying to think about this at the same time and unfortunately i'm not that talented but you can see that there's a lot of information here you can go and see that they've got a team you can find out who their team are now obviously because of the way we found projects and they're being invested in by some of these firms they're not going to be scams okay pretty pretty damn certain they're not going to be scams because there's lots of other people doing their due diligence before banging 25 million dollars into them okay uh you can then find down below uh lots of other bits and pieces that are going on here and really dig into it find out exactly what the project does and then what you can do guys you can go down and look at all sorts of different ones you know find out what else is going on right now obviously back into last month there wasn't a lot happening in august either so all of these ones are good to go as well ztx uh, i've already been looking at as well raised 13 million dollars from jump capital uh, let's see how this one compares to the other ones now what we can do we can again we can pop this into twitter score we can see it's already outperforming uh, the one that we've looked at before followed by some influencers such as elio trades this guy's got millions uh, of followers very exciting if he gives it a shout out who knows what could happen to it in the future and okay we come across to ztx is talking about uh, nfts and things like that and obviously not everything is going to have a token that's one thing to know not all of these are going to have tokens but guys this is really worth your time and effort because you know particularly right now just looking at charts and wondering what's going to happen if you've already invested into whatever cryptos you want you've set your alerts for them to arrive into buy zones or whatever's going on then you might as well have some good use of your time and start to research these projects you can give them a follow on twitter and then you can just keep up to date with them you can make a spreadsheet of all of these new projects and obviously this is all you literally need to do you need to obviously do more due diligence and understand what these websites are doing but just you know turn it into a game make it something fun it shouldn't be a chore okay if you're interested in making money in crypto more information you go and learn all the time the better these two websites as you can tell i have no real idea about i haven't got much of an idea about what they do i have to go and research them they've got light papers up here you can go and find out more about the teams you can go and find out about what they've got going on in the future if they have a real world use case they have an interested and excited following which we find from twitter score they have the ability to capture people's imagination and that can be from things as simple as some narrative out there that gets people very excited for example casper has the narrative that you know the founders were mentioned in the white paper of ethereum uh, HBAR has, you know, all these like different names on their governing councils. This is stuff that captures the imagination of people, whether they're really into the game and understand tons about crypto or perhaps don't really know much at all. They can still understand these things. Have a look at these projects, make sure that they fit into those different categories. So guys, make the most of this time right now where crypto is boring and not doing a huge amount because who knows when it might change. If the market continues to fall, you might have more time to get into this. But personally, I don't think it's going to. And this is the very best time to be finding projects to potentially look at in the future. You're not going to be able to invest in them right now because they're pre-ICO. And in the future, guys, I'll continue to bring you some slightly more interesting tutorials and things like that, which I have done from time to time. And the market's not doing anything particularly exciting. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to start seeing things that no one else is really talking about on YouTube right now. Whilst you're cruising around on the internet, it's really important that you look after yourself and you keep yourself safe. I use a NordVPN for this because it protects me while I'm surfing the internet. Now it stops people spying and using spyware on me and stops people therefore being able to access different wallets and exchanges and things I'm using. For the sake of my crypto safety, this is a very small investment. You get four months free. If you sign up down below through that exclusive link, you get a 30 day money back guarantee and then after that, it's like three or four bucks a month, which is like a price of an expensive coffee somewhere. And that's in order to stay safe while trading crypto and being online in general. Something else that's really important is people are often asking me where I trade crypto and how to buy this if I live in the US and I can't do this and I can't do that. Well, guys, go across to MEXC, link down below in the description, because it's non-KYC and KYC is know your customer which means that if you are a US citizen or a Chinese citizen or whatever, where crypto is regulated or just plain not allowed in your country, you can still use MEXC if you have a VPN, of course. And it has 0% spot maker fees, futures fees, 0%. Tons of different coins and things available. And that non-KYC thing means you can access it from anywhere, no matter your nationality. And if you don't want people knowing how much crypto you're buying and selling and whatever, then perhaps it's nice to have a little secret using a non-KYC exchange like Mexi. Both links for the VPN and Mexi down below. 
Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.